Good morning, first grade. Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Today we will practice long and short vowel sounds. Are you ready? If you don't have a pencil and paper in front of you already, go ahead and pause the video and grab that. All right, today we're gonna warm up with our vowels. We're gonna do four things. What are we gonna do? Four things. We're going to number one, hold the number one up in the air. Say it, we're going to say it. We're going to sound it. We're going to trace it. And we're going to air draw it. All right, are you ready? I'm going to do a little example. I'm going to start by saying each vowel. We're saying each vowel, exactly. So that means I'm only doing the red one. So I'll start. A, E, I, O, U. And look at that other little extra E down there. Now I'm going to sound it with a short vowel sound. I'm gonna sound it with a A, A, E, E, I, E, O, A, U, A. Now I'm going to sound it with a long sound. I'm going to sound it with a long sound. A, E, I, O, U. Now I'm going to trace it with my fingers. I'm going to touch the screen. I'm going to trace each one. After I've traced it, I'm going to air draw it nice and big. So if I wanted to draw a giant O for you, I would go like this and I would draw a giant air O. All right. You're going to do four things. You're going to do, please pause the video and do your warm up activity. All right. Now that you've finished with your warm up, we're going to keep going on and we're going to, you're going to have to guess long or short sound. We're going to guess the Long sound or the short sound. Are you ready? Cat, tap out cat. What sound does the A make in cat? Ah, ah. Is that the short sound or the long sound? Short sound, nice job. Key, tap out key. What sound does the E in key make? E, is that the short sound or the long sound? E is the long sound. Tap out frog. What sound does the O in frog make? Ah, ah, you're right. Is that the short sound or the long sound? Ah, ah, that's the short ah sound. Nice job. Lion, tap out lion. What sound does the I and lion make? It makes the long I sound. Nice job, last one. Cake, tap out cake. What does sound does the A and cake make? A, is that the short A or the long A sound? You're right, it's the long A sound. Let's keep going. All right, we're gonna warm up with some syllable practice. Remember, when I'm counting how many syllables are in a word, I put my hand underneath my chin, and I'm counting how many times does my mouth push my hand down? How many times does my chin push my hand down? So let's start with something easy. Here we have a spider. Say spider. Spider. How many times did Ms. Fernandez's chin go down? Spider. Two times, so there's two still syllables. Nice job. Let's try this. What is this a picture of, this piece of fruit up here? It's a peach. Say peach. 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 How many times did your chin go down when you said peach? One time. Nice job. And last but not least, this is a tiger. Say it for me. How many syllables are in tiger? Nice job. If you said two, you are correct. Sun. How many syllables are in sun? One, nice job. Cupcake, how many syllables do you hear in cupcake? Three, four, two syllables, nice job. Acorn, how many do you hear in acorn? Two, nice job, all right. We're gonna start with our activity. Today your activity is to share your favorite book. I have a word bank here to help you out. In the word bank, let's read the words together. Point to the first word. The word is character, main, setting, event, favorite, setting, event, 
author. You might notice that there are two words in there twice because I really want you to use those words in your writing. If I'm gonna share my favorite book, I'm gonna start with my sentence stem. Sentence stem. My favorite book is, and I'm gonna keep writing, and I might tell you my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That's the one with the blue cover, and that one's my favorite. So I might say, I like that book because, and then I'm gonna tell you why I like it. I'm gonna tell you about the character, the setting, and all the different events that happen in the story. Go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and write about your favorite book. All right, just to review, you have three activities you can choose from today. Make sure you submit one of the activities, just one, you don't have to submit all of them, to your class dojo under the Tuesday writing activity. The three activities are how many syllables are there, and you can choose those words. You can build sight words, or you can share your favorite book. All right, good luck and happy writing.